all around the world with the continued rise in craft beer. There are so many wonderful breweries that deserve at the very least a visit. Consider this series your guide to globetrotting the best of the world's craft beer scene. Okay, before we start, a quick history on a time before hops was used so extensively in beer. Back in the Middle Ages and before, to bitter and preserve beer, brewers utilized a mixture called Groot, which they obtained from either the church or from their local lord. It was a mix of herbs which is largely unknown as it could vary from region to region, but the basic ingredients were considered to be sweet gale, mugwort, yarrow, ground ivy, whorehound, and kaluna heather. With the discovery of hops, it became much easier for brewers to obtain the effects that Groot gave, but at a much simpler and cheaper method. Now that we know this, let me introduce you to Brouwerij Groot in Ghent, the only known brewery in the world to specialize only in Groot-based beers. Hallo, mijn naam is Annick de Splenter van de stad Brouwerij Groot. Ik heb de brouwerij negen jaar geleden, tien jaar geleden opgericht um, met de visie van iets anders te doen. Want ik ben in de historie van Gent gaan zoeken en daar gezien dat uh, de brouwerijen in de middeleeuwen brouwden met gruutkruiden. En die receptuur ben ik terug gaan bezoeken en ontwikkelen samen met de Universiteit van Gent. En dan tot de receptuur zoals gruut uh, aangekomen. So, as we said, we are here at Brouwerij Groot, which is in Ghent in Belgium. And I am being joined by the lovely Annick, the master brewer who went out and found out the secret of the recipe for Groot, which she's used in all of her beers. I'm so keen to taste this. It's going to be the first time I've ever tasted a beer that does not contain hops. Annick? Yeah? So? Okay. Wow, and I'm, I must tell you, I'm really excited about this. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> As you can see, it still has his foam because they always say brewing without hops doesn't keep the foam. Well, you can see that's clearly not true. That looks beautiful. And this, this you say, is your most popular beer? Yeah, this is the... Uh, it's 5% alcohol, so it's a very light, smooth, drinkable beer. Yeah. And um, with a high summer day like this, or as aperitif, it's ideal to, to, no, to taste this. No, that's amazing. So let's, let's have a look at the smell. I like... Uh, Okay, immediately on the nose is malty, but you can tell there's something herby going on in the background. Yeah. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty clear. Wow, this smells so interesting. And it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a uh, the, the recipe from what I understand is like a pretty standardized Belgian blonde. But the, the, the bittering agent is what has me very curious. So, <laughs> Annick, okay. let's taste this. Yes, I'll do. Here's the history, man. <laughs> Cheers. Oh wow, that is remarkable. <laughs> you know, it's got that bitter bite. It's it's not the hops bite, but it's it is so balanced. <laughs> There's a bitterness. Okay, the bitterness lingers a lot more than hops normally would. There's like a uh, like a herbal 
uh, character that I'm picking up. But you know what? If I didn't tell you that there was no hops in this, um, and you weren't a connoisseur, I don't think I don't think you you, you pick up on it. This is so easy drinking. You know, you'd expect that with that combination of herbs and so on, it to taste like something completely foreign. And yet, I'm so pleasantly surprised. I mean. Uh, so, well, what was the reason? So uh, that people, you know, generally switched to uh, to hops as opposed to this because I, I mean, well, I I, I composed a beer that um, that didn't uh, that you don't feel there's herbs or, or a herb tea, and that you drink as a normal. Uh, very exactly good that. beer and yeah. in balance and that's why I made that beer. Bitterness, is that, what is that? That's the bog myrtle? Ah, I uh, can't tell. One of those herbs <laughs> gives the bitterness. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I felt that one coming, just so we're clear. You know, like. <laughs> and it's also a beer that is libido increasing. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> so, chuck away the Viagra, come to Groot and get and drink as much of the stuff as you need to get where you need to go, man. I am now drinking living history. Anik, I'm your biggest fan. Ah, oh, cheers. Cheers, man. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Brewery Spotlight. Cheers, guys.